Hello everybody, my name is Dee and welcome to my Pick a Card Tarot Readings channel and welcome to your reading. These readings are meant to be 100% specific for you, for your life, for your current situation. I'm going to let Spirit bring through whatever Spirit wants to speak about and I'm going to be very specific on it. I'm going to pull a couple of letter and number cards at the start of each reading and that um, number or letter should be significant to you. So the letter, like an initial of somebody's name, a place, an object, something that is significant to you as soon as you see that letter that initial you're like yeah that's for me or the number attached there are three different question marks I'm going to do three different readings go ahead and look at them and decide which one's calling to you I will start with the first one there are timestamps listed for all of them below hello reading number one all right, let's see if this is the reading that is meant for you. I'm going to pull three different letters with three different numbers, and they should be significant. One, two, or all three. Okay, so let's see. Who is this reading for, Spirit? Okay, well, we have an I. And I'm going to pull four for you, actually, since that one's stuck. We have a B with a three, so we have an I and a one, a B and a three, an H and a four, and an E and a one. So one's very significant. You got two of them, so that's an 11, one or 11, and then you got three and four. Um, so three, 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 four, 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 34, 43. Those are significant, I, B, H, or E. And again, this could be the initial of somebody's name, first, middle, or last. It can be um, significant to a special location or object. So these are what you need to resonate with to know that the message coming through is going to pertain to you in your life. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the tarot story for this reading, for who this is for. Okay, so Five of Cups, The Fool, Uh, seven of Swords. Um, did I? Oh, I did not put those up far enough, did I? There you go. Death. And the King of Wands. Oh, right. Somebody hurt you. And it's this King of Wands right here this culprit. This could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, or this could just be somebody who's has a bad temper, um, yells, screams, argumentative, could be abusive, really loses their cool, okay? Or they could be, you know, um, fire sign, strong fire energy in their chart. Um, this person, you know, fire signs are not uh, bad people. I, I really connect well with fire signs, uh, but for this particular reading, this fire sign is a low-functioning fire sign that you've been dealing with. This is not somebody who is working from their higher consciousness. This is somebody who is very fear-based, uh, very selfish, tricky, narcissistic, okay? Because here's the story. You have been brought to a great deal of sadness, okay? And then here, it's like, oh, okay, a new beginning, a new chance, and it's stolen from you. It's ruined for, for you just for this person to leave you in this position once again. So I feel like this is, I've burned you twice. Like, I hurt you really bad, um, and this could be a friend, a family member, or a romance, okay? It's like, I hurt you really bad, and you started to move on, and I noticed that. 
so I had to come in and screw that up and after I screwed all of that up I left you again I left you high and dry I left you to handle it all on your own after I already hurt you after I already came back in and screwed it up I'm leaving you again like that is what has happened here okay that is what spirit is uh, talking about and so some of you I feel like this could have been in the workplace and this is like um, for boss your boss really screwed you over um, yeah like threw you under the bus made you take the heat the rap for something that uh, you did not do but man this is a an intense message so let's pull some more cards and see how this is going to transition because this is the story of what happened to you what's going on what spirit wants to bring you clarity and understanding about and let you know like this person was wrong yes they were shady yes they knew what they were doing they did not care it's time this just flew out it's time for you to have peace of heart and peace of mind from this person, from this situation, from what they did to you. And you know, for some of you, this could be very like repetitive. This has happened more than one time. Like this person's in and out, in and out, and they always come in promising, I've changed, I let's have a new start, let's have a new beginning, but it's like they fall back into their old patterns, which ultimately causes this connection, um, this relationship to sever, to go your separate ways, all right, so we have the vast universe with spirit, intention, taking steps, and people with family so some of you this is definitely a family member or somebody you consider family all right um, and look at what's at the bottom fear you don't need to fear so the vast universe of spirit coming in spirit doesn't want you to hurt spirit wants to bring you peace of heart peace of mind and say it's time for you to take steps away from this person, away from this situation, and trust in the vastness of all that is. Any sort of loss that comes with this, you will be replenished. Um, there's eight billion people on this planet. No one person is worth um, this sort of misery over and over. Like spirits saying they will not change. They are in a pattern, this is what they do, and they'll do it again. So like, um, you're starting to walk away, you're doing well, They're, they want to come back in and prevent that. Um, and it could be, you know, they feel jealous or all of a sudden they're missing you. You know, this person really goes back and forth, back and forth, and um, they rely on your deeper connection to them your deeper emotions for them they rely on that to get away with this crap okay and spirits say you do not deserve this there is so much more um at your fingertips and that is to be offered to you but right now you're very blinded by this situation by this person and what they've put you through and some of you it may be like you just want to close up and close off completely because of how deeply this person has hurt you and spirit wants you to have peace of mind peace of heart wants to restore happiness within you but it's like right now you've got to make the decision to walk away and walk far enough away because this person isn't going to change in a week a month or even a year this person is very ingrained in what they do and they don't just hurt you they screw over a lot of people okay just that heavy energy that jumped out at me when we first pulled the cards you are not the only person that this individual treats poorly um, takes advantage of hurts this that's like their status quo and they have their own little sob story about what's happened to them and blah 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 but you just you're gonna see the truth 
and as you take steps to walk away and walking away doesn't mean that you know forever after you guys never speak you never mend a bridge spirits just saying like right now it's time to walk away from them and keep walking away from them um, they're not changing anytime soon and so if you let them back in I would say like you need to give this at least a year before you even consider allowing this person back into your space and even at that point you really need to assess their energy is it just a new story is it a new um, excuse is it a new line or have they genuinely learned and grown um, because they're just going to do the same thing again and that may be what you've been asking spirit like you know is this relationship ever going to heal um, they're hitting you up again and you're very confused and spirits saying no they're not changing anytime soon it's just what they do and they hurt everybody and there's so much that's offered to you beyond this it's just time for you to make a conscious decision to walk away from this person for now and at least for a year yeah because look at we got the one twice so I would say for at least a year um, they need to walk on their own and figure things out on their own um, because it's sad this person thinks like it's almost like they get off on playing games with people um, it's not to say like when they get afraid and think oh my gosh maybe they're really gone maybe they're never gonna forgive me like they feel that they feel the fear but that almost like is what stimulates them and what is what excites them is that riskiness they take in um, relationships that are close to them and how much will how much BS will this person accept from me and when they realize that somebody has deep emotion they really do utilize that and manipulate that in their favor again it's like they get some thrill out of this and they like that fear of loss and um, it's like every time I come back I'm gonna do something even worse and how much can I get away with and in moments where they feel like you're totally done you'll never be there for them again they're on their knees crying and begging for you to give them another chance but it's not real like that's that's part of the cycle for them they get a thrill out of it um, it's really kinda sick to me like this person needs like some um, huge self-awareness or maybe even some like therapy to realize the way they impact others because it's just like they're off emotionally they utilize uh, emotions as weapons and it's like they get a thrill out of it they get off on it and that's why it's the same thing over and over and over with them they'll never change like they've got to hit a rock bottom that's different than um, losing a relationship that they care about like they've got to truly hit a rock bottom um, that's different than anything that you can provide or somebody else provide so let's pull some cards uh, some tarot for these here Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, so right away I use spirits acknowledging that like you just got to throw your hands at this situation for a while like you're not happy about but spirits saying hey I got you and I didn't even let's see this is card one so we got the one again This is card four, and we've got that four here. This is card two, and we've got four cups here. So uh, ones and fours, big, big synchronicity. And now look at this. We have the nine of cups. So it 
it's time for you to work on you and open yourself up to the universe. There is so much that spirit wants to offer you. And as awful as, it been, as it's been to deal with this person, it's taught you a lot. It really has. And all that experience and pain is going to transform into wisdom and strength. Spirit wants you to know that. But right now, it is truly time for you to walk away from this person for a while, at least a year. Because they, it's the same old thing. Once they feel like you're getting too far away, let me come back in and be all sweet and kind just for the pattern to repeat. And again, this can be a family member, a friend, or a romantic partner that's back and forth. Whoever this is, in your heart and in your soul, they are a part of you. They are a part of your family. And that's why this has been such a struggle for you to let this go. It's like you're always willing to um, work on this, to um, mend this connection, um, to keep it going. Like you care to preserve this relationship and you think that because this person reaches out in these moments of desperation and sadness and when they first come back in like it's like they're a whole changed person it gives you this hope that someday they are going to change and they this time it's going to be different and spirit is saying it's not not with this person they will hurt you and burn you every single time because they've got some lessons to learn and they're not going to learn them through your kindness, gentleness, love, and support. They take advantage of that in you and in others. And right now, Spirit says, walk away. And so much is going to open up for you. And it doesn't mean that you and this person will never, you know, work things out. It's just right now, this person is in a, a very weird, like, pattern Um really caught up in their ego and they get off on their ability to control others emotionally invoke great happiness at will invoke great sadness within them at will like this person gets off on that the highs and the lows it doesn't matter if it's laughter and gratitude or great pain and tears they don't care it's in their head like I can summons this energy from this person and it makes me feel powerful and it's because they feel little and disempowered in general that they act like that towards you and towards others and so um, I think you guys have been asking like spirit give it to me lay it on me be brutal if you have to what is the truth of this person and this is the truth of them, at least for now, at least for a year. Like, they've got a lot to learn. And um, when you really uh, are closing that door on them, and they know, like, you're definitely, like, walking away, like, you're done, you're washing your hands, they might get a bit desperate initially, but spirits, like, block them out. Like, make them fall on their ass. They need to learn they need to feel and realize true loss and consequence from action. And it's just like everybody around this person adores them, loves them, gives them kindness. And why they act like this towards others, it's just, it's a malfunction inside of them that they need to address and they need to fix. And, you know, healing is an, an awakening and taking accountability and responsibility is truly an inside job. You can never heal your wounds and take until you take full accountability of yourself and you stare yourself down deep into the darkness of your shadow and your fear. You know, when you can face that and accept that and own yourself in that, that's when healing begins. And this person is just nowhere near ready to see themselves that up close and personal they couldn't handle it they don't even though they get such a thrill out of you know invoking certain emotions and they even like troll strangers um when they drive on the internet like this person is a troll oh my gosh and they cannot be trusted yeah look at this just fell out they have no integrity they just don't care. They think they are the shit and that's that.
This person's very clever, very intelligent. All right, look at this. This is birth. It is time for a new birthing of you. By walking away, <clears throat> the vast universe awaits you. There are other people that will come in and embrace you and help you heal through this energy. And again, this doesn't have to mean that this connection is over forever, but this person will just keep hurting you and doing the same thing over and over until there's nothing left, until you absolutely despise them and the entire um, relationship is just soured, like the well has been too poisoned to ever drink from again. And so if you care about the preservation of this connection, you are better served to step back and walk away for now so this person doesn't keep hurting you with their BS because they're not changing anytime soon. So I'm sorry that was like such a deep, intense message, but I told Spirit, give me something very specific that somebody needs to hear, and this is what came through. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, reading number two. So we're going to start by pulling three letters and three numbers. And um, these letters and numbers need to resonate and feel significant to you somehow, some way. So the letters could be somebody's initial. It could be um, the initial to a place or to an object that's important or significant to you or the numbers. So one or um, all three should be mean something to you somehow, some way. So let's uh, get right in. Who is this reading for, Spirit? Give us the signs. Who is this reading for? All right, so we have an E with a 1. We have an H with a 4. And we have an A with a 1. So, 1 or 11 or 111, 1111, significant for you with the 1s here. And 4, also very significant, E, H, or A. So, initial of a name or a place or an object, a color, something significant like the 1s, 11s, 1111 for E, H, or A needs to really mean something to you for you to be able to resonate with this reading. All right, so now that that's out there, let's pull the tarot story for you guys, what Spirit wants to tell you. Okay, so we have Temperance, Ace of Pentacles, The Magician, Nine of Cups, and Eight of Cups. Let me sit with this story for a minute. Okay, so this is definitely about a relationship, friend, family, or romance. This is somebody who wants to um, either like reconcile with you or they are planning something very special for you. Okay, I feel for the most, the majority of you, this is uh, somebody that walked away from you, like they want to come back in 
and they want to apologize and this is a, a wish of your heart of your soul okay um you want this person to come back in and they they are and it's going to feel like magic to you like very unexpected because this is balance this is healing this is reconciliation i offer you this apology this reconciliation in earnest it feels magical it feels like a, a wish come true and like i can finally walk away from sadness from heartache um, around this relationship, around this connection. Yeah, somebody you had a falling out with, you guys are going to get this worked out. Um, I would say, you know, with the ones and, and the four here, like within one to four weeks or one to four months, okay? Just because one and four is very significant. So this is going to get worked out. They're going to come back in. You guys are going to reconcile. You're going to heal and it's your desire okay um now for others of you and i didn't expect this i really thought spirit would just keep it very specific uh one message through the reading number one was definitely very specific all the way through but um for some of you somebody that is special to you that matters to you is planning something very special for you is being there for you is supporting you is going to give you like the money you need um the help you need something like that you need the most and you don't see it coming their support their gift um what they offer to you is allowing you to walk away um from some heavy energy that uh, may have made you feel out of balance you may have been filled with worry angst concern what am I going to do? How is this going to um, play out? How is this going to pan out? And Spirit is saying, like, somebody is coming in to help you out, all right? So you've got to be in a position right now, if the first message didn't resonate, you've got to be in a position where you're very worried about something um, falling into place, um, coming through for you. Spirit says it is. Don't worry about it. It's actually going to feel a bit magical how everything falls into place. And there is somebody that is helping you and supporting you in the physical as well as um, a really strong angel guide coming in to see this all the way through. And it's allowing you to walk away from some heaviness, from some unwanted energy. You guys, um, whether this is about a relationship reconciliation or somebody coming in to really help you out when you need it the most. Um, it feels magical. It's uh, a wish of your heart that you've been desiring. This is the Magician and the Nine of Cups. This is my wish coming true, materializing right there with the Ace of Pentacles. Like, your wish is coming true. Your emotional wish is finally coming to fruition and some of you this is a healing and mending relationship and for others of you this is a person coming in um, to just really surprise you or really be there for you and um, if this is just like a big beautiful surprise it allows you to walk away from any uncertainty around this person or this uh, relationship and for those of you where this is like somebody just coming in to support you it's like it's magic they just are there at the right time um when you need them the most there they are okay so for relationships this is very positive across the board uh the first reading was not at all this one whole different vibe um somebody has your back somebody's sorry somebody wants to surprise you okay so Let's pull some uh, more cards to see how this energy is uh, totally playing out. Okay, so we have Hidden Motivations. Decrease. And back and forth. All right. 
So this, uh, those of you where this is a, a, handy, a, a healing and mending relationship, somebody coming in to offer you like apology, accountability, all of that, it's because they're really struggling. Like they are feeling it without you around. There's a huge decrease in their life. Okay. And some of you, this could even be a job situation where your boss lets you go. And now they're calling you back because they're like, oh my gosh, we just, we can't even make it without you. Okay. There is this energy coming in. Um, and they've, they've been on the fence, okay? You need to know that. They've been on the fence about this. They're not sure how you're going to receive them um, based on what's happened in the past. So um, probably as you're viewing this, they're on the fence. But they want to come back in now and take accountability and responsibility and make things right because they feel um, a huge lack and emptiness now that you are not present, okay? So those of you where this is a mending and healing situation they're definitely feeling the loss of you so do not worry about that um, now for uh, those of you where this is somebody coming in um, to really have your back you can trust them like I feel you kind of have your guard up um, you go back and forth in your mind and your heart like why is this person going so f above and beyond for me? Or um, why is this person trying to um, impress me and spoil me so deeply? Um, you question it because it comes at a time where you've been in a period of lack, um, of it needing something, whether that's physical resources, emotional energy, um, you know, just whatever. You've been in this period of lack and decrease. So when this comes in, you kind of go back and forth questioning the motivation of this person. And Spirit's like, no, they are golden. Anybody coming in within um, the next month to four months, just going above and beyond for you is genuine and earnest all the way to the core. Okay, they mean it from their heart, from their soul. They care about you. They want to see the best for you. Even if this is just like a coworker or a boss, all right? They want to see the best for you. They want to help you. They think highly of you. Um, they want your life to be easier. They look at your situation and feel like you don't deserve that. You deserve better than what you've been receiving. And they want to come in and they want to help you with that, okay? It's like a wish is coming true and it's attached to another person, either healing with you or coming in to support you and give you what you need at exactly the right moment. And you deserve that and it allows you to walk away from some heavy energy. So let's pull some um, tarot to go on top of these. They're hermits. Six of cups. And Six of Swords. Okay. So here with the hidden um, motives, we got the Hermit sitting on top. And this is good energy. This is not somebody who uh, is, you know, got the Seven of Swords hidden in their back pocket. This is somebody who is wise. This is somebody who has thought about things. Um, somebody coming in to apologize and say sorry to you. They mean it. They've really thought about uh, what happened and they've grown from it. Okay, they do mean it. Um, those of you where this is uh, somebody just going above and beyond to help you out and you're kind of suspicious as to why anybody would do that, it's truly who they are at their core. And they don't, they're not somebody who wants to be in the spotlight like this person may even give to you or help you out anonymously because they're not in it for the glory they're in it for the humanity um, for the connection for the way it makes them feel for the way it's going to make you feel like that's why this person does what they do and um, decrease with the six of cups um, you are very special 
okay, to whoever may be wanting to mend with you or whoever is trying to come in and really help you out and support you, they think highly of you. Um, they're protective over you. Um, it's like your current perception of your circumstances or um, a fight and separation you have with somebody isn't the reality of it. Um, it's they like uh, the mending relationship, like they definitely feel terrible and you don't think they do. Um, those of you that are kind of in this like worry mode of what am I going to do? How is this going to work out? And somebody's going to come in and just save the day for you. Um, you guys are soulmates. Even if this is like a total stranger, okay, you guys are connected at the soul somehow, some way. And what they do for you allows you to move on, to move forward. You got that through the Eight of Cups and you got that through the Six of Swords after being through some back and forth, okay? Either back and forth in the mind, really worrying about what you're going to do next or back and forth in the mind and the heart about a relationship, okay? You're moving on from that energy because either a true heartfelt apology is being offered along with changed behavior or somebody coming in to save the day for you, to be your hero, to be there for you, to go above and beyond. And it allows you to walk away from that worry and that um, anxiety of what am I going to do next? What comes next? So with this, the overall message from spirit is all is well. You don't need to worry. Relax your energy. Um, there's healing coming into your like financial life or your emotional life. And it's going to feel magical like a wish come true. So let's pull one final card. Flow. Trust the process. Trust the universe. Trust this message that Spirit has brought through. You've been asking, and that's why you were led to this reading. This particular question mark is time to flow and trust the process. All is well. It's going to work out just fine. So those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, reading number three. Let's get right in. I'm going to pull three letters and three numbers. One, two, or all three should resonate and be significant to you somehow, some way, whether the initial of somebody's name, um, of a place, of an object, or the number attached uh, being very significant to you. That's how you'll know that this reading is for you. All right, spirit. Show us who this reading is for. Give us the signs they need to see. All right, we have a J with the number eight. We have a G with the number two. And we have B with number three. No vowels for you guys. All right, J, G, or B. Very significant. A big, beautiful sign for some of you out there. Eight, two, or three as well. Those numbers are significant. And, um, you know, it could be 23 or 28, 82, 83. You could interchange them as well. All right. It's just that is the clues that Spirit is giving to you of whether this reading is for you and will resonate for you or not. So with that said, let's get right in to the tarot story and see what Spirit wants you to know. So we have the Queen of Cups, 
the chariot. Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. And the Tower. All right, let me sit with this message for a minute. It's just that tower at the end is throwing me a little bit. So let me pull a clarifier really fast. I'm like, what are you talking about with that tower? It doesn't really flow for me with the other message that I'm getting with the other cards. So... Give me a clarifier on this tower. Okay, seven of pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is, here you are, this is you at the start of the read, okay? Coming through as cups energy could absolutely represent that you are a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or have strong water energy in your chart. Um, doesn't have to be, but you're coming through um, showing as emotional energy. And we, you are, um, you're going on a vacation here, you're traveling, okay? And I say vacation because here you are relaxing with this person, um, this queen of pentacles. This could be male or female. This could be male or female. This person uh, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they have strong earth energy in their chart, okay? You and this person are traveling with each other. You're going somewhere, and you never thought this would happen, okay? You guys are shocked that this is happening, that you're able to go on this trip, on this vacation. Um, you Maybe you have thought about it for years, or maybe it was uh, you guys had planned last year, and then, you know, the whole pandemic happened, and maybe now things are just aligning that you're going to be able to go on this trip this year, or um, this is somebody coming home or flying to your state or your country to see you, to surprise you, or vice versa, okay? There's a great element of shock and awe and surprise about this vacation, this travel for you guys. And I didn't do this um, for the other readings, but for you guys, I really feel like I need to do this. I'm gonna pull uh, three more cards to um, go a little bit deeper specifically about this travel, this journey that's so unexpected that you didn't think could ever happen. Wow. Um, okay. Some of you, it's because you and whoever this person is, you guys actually had a falling out in the past, an argument in the past. And you may have thought like, we're never going to be able um, to work this out. We're never going to make up. And somehow, some way, um, I would say within the next two to eight weeks, because you have two, three, and eight down there, within the next two to eight weeks, somehow, some way, um, the universe is aligning you guys and you're gonna you're gonna work it out and you end up going on this trip together. And it's like you never in a million years thought, okay? And if you and this person haven't had a falling out and you're making up and that's what the shock is about, um, you and this person um, never thought you would be going on this trip. Maybe it's just kind of offered to you out of nowhere. But it's a huge blessing. It just blows you away. And it's very relaxing to your soul. So let's pull three more cards here. Okay, we have the King of Wands. The Three of Swords. And the Four of... Uh, Pentacles, yeah, big, big, strong message in this. Oh my gosh, and look, <laughs> look at what would be next. Okay, whoa, Spirit, you are going in on this one. Okay, so you have the, the King of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Down here, you have the King of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Um... 
there may be more than one person trying to come back up into your world and heal with you. Um, I don't know why Spirit is taking this reading uh, this route uh, because I intended this to be incredibly specific. One storyline, we know it's about travel unexpectedly, but in a positive way. And uh, man, I just have to say, I feel like Spirit is saying, <laughs> you are going on a journey. You're going to travel to see this person. They're going to travel to see you, or you're going to go on a vacation. And this is like, you guys have had a falling out. Um, I just, I have to go with that because of the way these cards came out. Like, and you have three different people here. You have a Queen of Pentacles, a King of Wands, and a King of Cups. Um, so this could be like a major family reunion where uh, things that have gone sour with multiple people within the family, like you guys are finally all coming together um, and you're going to heal. And it could be because there was like a loss or something that happened in the family. And um, I don't see you, if this is a loss, it would be like a very far uh, extended family member to you because you're not sad right now you are very happy and in shock with how beautifully things are working out so it's like some of you this could be about like the family coming back together and you guys being able to heal okay or the whole family finally being able to go on a vacation with each other or some of you, there's a couple people that are trying to come back into your world and heal and make up and make it right with you. But no matter what, no matter how this may be resonating, you are definitely traveling to go see somebody. Somebody's traveling to come see you or you guys are going on this trip together. You never in a million years thought that this would happen. And for the majority of you, it's because you're reconciling and healing with somebody. Okay. There is a percentage of you where all is well. It's just you never thought this would be possible for you guys. And now here it's happening. And then for the majority of you, somebody is coming back into your life. Major healing happening. And it's um, all attached and associated with this travel that you never, ever saw coming. So let's pull some more cards. And you know what? I actually want to take these guys back into the deck because we're going to pull more clarifiers after we get these cards out. So I just want to see if, the, if those cards will come back out again on top of um, these as the clarifier. It's time for some peace, some relaxation for you guys. Yes, we have fragmented energy. We have conflict. Discovery. A consciousness of lack. A creative endeavor. And these all just flew out. And then a taking steps. Yes, so here it is. Um, a lot of you, this is going to be a healing between you and another person. And you never, ever thought it would happen, ever. Um, but it is. And you guys are uh, taking the time to like travel to each other or deciding, you know what? Hey, let's just run off together. Let's just go on a vacation. Uh, let's enjoy each other's energy and it's so unexpected and it comes like at the perfect time and then um for those others of you yes this is a travel this is vacation that you didn't think was going to be able to happen for you and boom here it is just kind of coming out of nowhere and you're so excited and you're so happy it's like a wish comes true if you just I keep coming back to that like you didn't think it was possible so let's uh let's pull clarifiers I was only pulling three of these on all of the other reads but um, for you guys spirit threw out seven so we will pull seven more tarot cards
All right, look at that. Ten of Pentacles on peace. Yes, some of you, it's time for peace and harmony within the family unit. A big time family healing going on a family vacation with each other or you all traveling for like a family reunion or having to come together um you know for some reason and deep healing takes place unexpectedly three of cups look at that happiness and celebration partying where there was once fragmented energy here's the conflict the ten of swords it's done it's over it's time to move beyond that on the discovery look at that the two of wands going from one world into the next world having a perception shift this uh lack of con this consciousness of lack is being um clarified by this knight of cups here is an apology being offered here is a vacation um being offered some sort of travel being offered to you and yes it's going to happen because we got the knight of wands on a creative endeavor and then look at this on taking steps we got the two of cups so the travel is gonna happen you might not have any clue as to what that could possibly be at this moment but spirit said you're gonna be shocked it's like a huge big surprise for you and how this plays out and some of you this is all around like a family unit some of you, this is around a relationship that's reconciling. And for others of you, um, this is, you know, you and a person, you're doing good. There's no healing. It's just like you guys need a break from life. And um, it's like this really amazing opportunity to travel or vacation comes your way. Maybe it's just some killer deal you find online or somebody um, gifts it to you guys. Okay, because we do have a lot of court cards that have showed up in this reading. It's gifted to you. Somehow, some way, you guys are going on vacation. You're traveling and you're really happy. You feel successful. You feel shocked. You're in awe. And if you're not literally traveling, somebody's traveling to see you. And it feels like just as big as the blessing and shock that they're coming to see you. Um, and uh, that they're going out of their way for you. This is just a very special, sweet uh, reading. It's all about connection. It's all about love. It's all about healing. And it's time to travel. It's time to go on a fabulous vacation. Like Spirit wants you to know that. And the way this all plays out, you could have never dreamed it up. You could have never dreamed it up. You're just going to be like, wow. All right, so let's pull one final card. And you know, we had the uh, King of Wands and the King of Cups come out. And look at you have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Some of you, this could be like um, multiple people coming in and offering you this trip, this travel. Like, that's crazy. But here it is. Happiness, connection, taking steps forward with your family, with a friend, or with a romance. All right, what do we have? Courage. Do not be afraid. You are about to be blessed. All right, you are about to be majorly blessed. And next card is explore. You got, I just, I don't care. If somebody's even traveling to see you, you guys are going on vacation, camping, something. Like Spirit just brings that up over and over and over. Maybe for some of you, this is like multiple trips coming through you didn't think you'd have the finances the means the resources the way but it's just all going to work out like magic you are shocked the way this all unfolds this vacation this travel these people um what they're saying to you the healing that's happening like all of it okay so just relax and uh what did we say um within the next two to eight weeks is that what i said or was it um two to or was it three to eight weeks? Eight weeks out is the furthest um, that this will go. But this is all happening, okay? And you don't see it coming. You really, really don't. I'm excited for you guys. What a magic blessing. And even after this reading, the way it unfolds, it's still just going to be like, oh my God, wow. Even though you got insight in the reading, 
it's just when it's unfolding in reality and it's um, so much more vivid and full of detail, you're just going to be blown away and you're going to be happy and life is going to feel good. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.